Backbone collections are simple to describe. A collection is a group of model instances. That's it, I'm done describing them. They are powerful and contain a lot of built-in functionality, but in terms of explaining what they are, that really is it. A collection is a group of model instances. In this video, we'll go through the steps of creating a collection and then review how to add model instances to the collection as well as remove them. To create a collection, you first have to let it know which model it's based on. This is a must, a collection and highlight lines 91 through 98, highlight them and copy them, and then go back to all flowers app.flowers collection and setting it equal to the backbone.collection.extend method. On line six, I'm telling my collection that it should look to the app.flower model I created earlier when it starts to add instances to its group. Yes, creating a collection object is that simple. Now adding models and highlight them, copy them. And now I'm going to go back to flowerapp.js and paste the code right below the instances I created earlier. And I'm also going to get rid of this line of code right here where we change the price for rainbow roses. We don't need that anymore. Save that. I've created a new instance of my flower collection on line 23. You can tell it's an array because it's enclosed in these brackets here. And the array is a list of the model instances that I've created up to this point. These instances at the top of the page up here. I'm also sending another console.log statement to the browser console using the to JSON method. My file. I'm going to open up the browser console. I still have console.log statements from the previous exercise. That's okay for now. So I have this array of JavaScript objects down here. There are three objects all together. And when I expand them with this arrow here, let me scroll down a little bit, I should be able to explore how they're structured. I see three objects here. I'll expand the first one. Let me just scroll up so we can see it in full a little better. So this looks like information for the Red Roses instance that I created earlier. It has all the properties I assigned to it. Let me just close this one. And when I expand the second one right here, I see the same thing as well for the Rainbow Roses instance I've already created. And let me close this and expand the third one right here. And let me scroll up a little bit. And yes, I'm seeing the same thing for Heirloom Roses. Let me close this just so we don't confuse ourselves. Now I can also add instances to collections using the add method. I'll go back to snippets.txt. Let me scroll down a little bit. App. And I need to paste it directly. Uh, 
down a little bit. And I need to get rid of this line of code here on line 24, and I also need to get rid of the comma before it. So instead of adding heirloom roses to my instance array, and then adding the array as a parameter of flower group, So if I go back to the browser, things should still look the same. So let me go back to the browser and refresh. Yes, as we see, we still have three objects in our array here. Here they are. I'm adding all the model instances. Close this for now. Let's use the remove method to demonstrate that instances can indeed be removed from a collection. So it's back to snippets.txt. Let me put some space here so we know what's going on. And I'm going to highlight and copy this line of code here on line 125. Copy that. And I'm going to go back to my flowerapp.js file. And again, I need to paste this directly above the console.log statement right here. So paste it in here. Let me scroll down so I can see everything and let me save that. So it's pretty much the same syntax that I use for the add method. On line 29, I'm referencing the collection I want to remove an instance from, which is flower group. And I'm now calling the remove spot for furthering your backbone knowledge.